This year for the Christmas holidays, our family headed down to the Florida Keys. We're going to relax on the beach, do some sightseeing, and of course, Brock and I are going to do a little bit of fishing. We checked into our vacation rental in Marathon, and looking at the ocean and that beautiful sunset, I could not wait to get on the water the next day. Barely able to contain our excitement, we made sure to be on the dock plenty early the next morning, and there we met our charter captain as he pulled up in his beautiful boat. While Captain Chris was getting the final things ready, Brock and I looked over the edge, and we saw a manatee just sitting there in the water. In a few short minutes, we were headed out to open water and hopefully lots of great fishing. A few miles offshore, we pulled up on top of a wreck, and as usual, Brock got the first fish. It was a pretty small snapper, but hey, it was a fish, and we thought, things can only get better from here. No matter how you hold that fish, it's still small. About 20 minutes later, while I was vertically jigging, I felt a hit, set the hook, and started fighting a fish. It didn't feel very big, but you know when you're fishing 150 feet deep, you're not really sure. But, no, I was right. It wasn't a really big fish. This one's a Blue Runner Jack. Big jacks can be really fun to fish for. Uh, they're not great tasting fish, they're okay. This guy's only about three pounds, so we just tossed him back in. For about the next hour and a half, fishing was really slow. Suddenly, we saw something in the water, and Brock's like, look at that over there! So I dropped the GoPro into the water to see what it was we were looking at. Sure enough, there was a pretty big bull shark just hanging around our boat. So we moved to another spot, and guess what the very first thing I caught there was? Yep, another shark. So yeah, a whole new wreck site, and I caught this little shark. This is an Atlantic shark no shark. They don't usually get bigger than about two to three feet long. So, yep, there you go. Small teeth on it. Throw them back in. After about four hours of not catching much, we decided to make a change and go do some reef fishing, see if we could catch some yellowtail snappers. Uh, the water's getting pretty rough by this point. Really rough, bumpy ride over to the other area. When we got to the reef, the guide put a chum block in the bag and threw it over and said, the fish would come to the chum. And he told us first we'd have the blue parrots or different types of parrots come in. And then behind them would be the yellowtails. Sure enough, pretty soon we had fish everywhere. And then you could see yellowtails. So we started fishing. Brock didn't waste any time. While I was looking in the water, videoing the fish, Brock had already caught his first yellowtail. I, too, decided to get in on the action. We took little pieces of bait, just put them on a simple hook, tossed them over, let the current pull the line away from us. You'd feel a couple taps. Set the hook, bring in a yellowtail. After catching a couple of fish, we look over by the edge of the boat, and there are fish all over the place by the edge of the boat. So we put bait on a couple more hooks, throw them in there, and we just start catching yellowtail after yellowtail after yellowtail. Super easy. For about half an hour, we boated, I don't know, 30, 40 yellowtails. Kept a bunch of them. Yellowtail snappers have a limit of 10 per person. So we did a quick count, rose we at 19, cooked into one more, got in the boat, and said we're done. What'd you catch today, Brock? Yellowtail. Little fish. <laughs> Lots of them. After that, we had a couple days of really bad weather. The very first day that the weather's going to be really calm again, I wanted to go out fishing. Brock wasn't up for another day, so I drove up to Key Largo. I had a goal of catching a grouper on this trip. In Key Largo, I met Captain Justin and Turtle from Fantix Charters, and we hit out pretty early that morning. So we set out to do some bottom bouncing, a couple hundred feet deep on shipwrecks. Hopefully this time, the weather will be a little bit better. Maybe today will be the day I finally catch that big grouper. First, we had to go catch the bait. We were using a sabiki rod, which is a rod with about five hooks on the line. You drop it down, um, and a whole bunch of bait fish will come up and hit them. They got little flashers on them, and you would catch a whole lot of four to six inch little thread fins and runners and sometimes small yellowtails, just little bait fish, sardines and that sort of stuff. So we started putting them in there. 
Um, several times we get two, three, sometimes four fish on at one time. It's actually kind of fun just catching the bait. After about 15 minutes of fishing for bait, we had over a hundred live sardines and thread fins and such to be used. So we said, all right, let's go see if we can catch some bigger stuff. Let's head out for the shipwrecks. 20 minutes later, we were fully set up, dropped the baits down right in there, wreck, and it didn't take more than a couple minutes. And we had our first hit and I started reeling, you know, rod, lifting rod up, reeling on the way down, pump the rod up, reel down. Definitely felt bigger than anything I had the other day there, but wasn't totally sure yet. And I caught a baby amberjack. It wasn't big, but I was pretty happy. It was already the biggest fish I'd caught on this trip to Florida. We quickly got re-rigged, and I'm sitting there watching the rod tip all of a sudden. I see it start bending over. I grab it, reel down a few times, set the hook, and start reeling in my next fish. This fish was definitely fighting a little bit harder. I could tell it was bigger, not huge. Kind of doubted it was a grouper, but it was, you know, way more fun than I've fought so far. And I just keep reeling, and the, the rod tip's bending over, and we're reeling it in, and I finally get up to the boat and I back up to give Turtle a little bit of space. He reaches down, hooks the fish, and brings in my very first Almaco Jack. So, Jack family, uh, you know, gorgeous fish, never caught one before. Since this was my very first Almaco Jack, it was a decent sized one. I want to get some pictures of it, you know, document this beautiful fish, the biggest fish I'd caught so far on the trip. But we were far from being done catching fish. Sit there, you know, another 10 or 15 minutes and the rod over by turtle so he bends over. He cranks down a couple times, make sure the hook is set. And I go over and grab the rod. Once I get the rod out of the rod holder, turtle grabbed the fighting belt, put it on me and I started fighting. I could tell it wasn't a small fish, but it wasn't a really big fish. So again, I thought it's probably not a grouper. Maybe this will be my first mutton snapper of this trip. When you're wreck fishing, you're fishing anywhere from about 130 to maybe 250 feet deep. So you're pulling these fish up from a long ways down. Uh, they're, they're, they're heavy. You got to really pump that rod up real the way down. It takes a while, even on a not a big fish. It was a while. I had to keep fighting these fish. My arms were getting tired. Sure enough, it was a mutton snapper. It wasn't huge. It was about 20 inches long. So nice size, good eating size mutton snapper. I was pretty pleased. By this point, I'm already thinking, wow, today is way better than the other day. I wish Brock was here. He's totally missing out. We're actually catching some decent fish. And it wasn't even done. The rod, again, on my turtle side, bent over. Rabbit grabbed it. Started fighting another fish. It took me about five minutes of reeling. And I brought in another mutton snapper. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Again, this is a great eating fish. Mutton snapper tastes wonderful. We got everything re-rigged up, and I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I'm going to take a little breather here. But no, the rod right next to me bent over again. So I cranked down a few times, set the hook, and started fighting another fish. This one didn't seem to take me as long. I only fought it for about two minutes. I got it up to the surface, backed up, gave turn on space, and he pulled in another mutton snapper into the boat. The next two fish that I had hit were bitten off by sharks on the way up. So we looked around and we could see a couple sharks and Turtle took a live fish, put it on a hook with a wire leader and threw it out there and handed me the rod. Sure enough, one of the sharks hit the rod and the line just took off. It was zipping. I started finding the shark. Turtle warned me said, hey man, that's only 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Be careful. And I'm thinking, what? I got a 15 pound test line out there with a shark running around it, but I just kept fighting the shark. After about 15 minutes, when my arms were just starting to burn really bad, we finally got that shark near the side of the boat. I was able to back up. Turtles able to make a great grab, and we got it in the boat. Yep. There you go, perfect. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yep, catch him right over. Yeah. Swim right off. Awesome. So cool. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. After we released the shark, we moved to a new area to see if we could find something different. We hadn't been there long when the first bite hit. We got the fighting belt on me and I started fighting. 
man, this one was really pulling. Felt different than the mutton snapper. I just kept pulling down and down, and I'd reel, and it just kept fighting back. I'm thinking, wow, this thing feels different. After about three minutes, my forearms were dying, but I could see the leader, so I backed up, gave turtles some space, and we pulled in an amberjack. It wasn't huge, but it was a decent size. A lot bigger than the other one I caught earlier this morning. I was super happy to have landed it. Since I didn't intend to eat it, we put it back in the water and set up to catch some more. We didn't have to wait too long. About 15 minutes later, we had another strike. But this one was a little bit different. I started reeling, kept reeling. There wasn't really anything on it. Kept reeling. Began to think maybe there's nothing there. And all of a sudden, that rod tip bent over. Once we realized we actually had a fish on there, Turtle quickly grabbed the fighting belt, threw it on me, and I was back to fighting another fish. Again, this one was fighting pretty tough, which was really surprising because we didn't even think we had a fish on it first, but then we realized it must have bit and then started swimming straight for the surface. So I had to reel in all that slack just to go fill the fish. Once I did, man, this guy just fought and fought. After another six minutes of reeling and finding the fish, I finally got to the surface, backed up, and Turtle pulled in my third amberjack of the day. This one was a little bit bigger than the, than the previous one. Amberjack, very beautiful and extremely hard fighting fish. I was tired after reeling in those amberjacks and they asked me if I needed a break. I said, no, I came here to fish. Let's keep doing it. So we moved to a new area, got it rigged all up again, and the wind just completely died off and the ocean started to really lay down. And again, my rod bent over with another bite. I could tell this was no amberjack. It was not fighting like the amberjack had. So I assumed it was another mutton snapper and just kept on reeling. Sure enough, there it was, another 20 inch long mutton snapper. Nearly identical to the ones I caught earlier. About 20 inches long, mutton snapper is some of the best tasting fish around the Florida Keys. It was starting to get pretty late in the day. We're gonna have to go back soon, but I wanted one more chance to try and get that grouper. Suddenly Turtle said, hey, did you see that? Of course, I jumped right by my seat, go over and look at it. There's a little movement on the end of the rod, but we weren't really sure. We looked a little bit longer. Suddenly the rod tip dipped a little more. I grabbed it, started reeling down, and we decided to fight one more fish. Oh man, this guy was really pulling. This felt way heavier and bigger than anything so far today. I started thinking, could this be it? Is this my grouper finally? So excited and terrified. Because if it comes off now, I'm going to feel awful. For several minutes, I am fighting this fish with everything I got. You know, lift the rod up, reel on the way down, just fight, I can feel the burn. This thing is super heavy. Suddenly, Turtle asked me, hey, is your camera running? I'm thinking, oh no, I'm gonna miss out my chance of videoing this big old fish. And Turtle says, dude, I really think you had a big group run. I hope your camera's running. Several more minutes go by of me fighting with this fish. We get closer, I can see the leader come in. So I start backing up and Turtle yells, it's a grouper, I can see it, it's a grouper. I look out back behind the boat, and there it is at the surface. It's made all the way up. Now what we've got to do is get it in the boat. Yeah! You had a mutton? And he ate the... Got a grouper! Yes! No way! That was what I was hoping for. There's a grouper. Grab Grab your camera real quick. Take a picture of that. You had a mutton on. Oh, look at the color. Happen. That's amazing. Alright, so we caught this little mutton snapper on the way up. This guy right here decided to eat him. Right on the lip there too, man. You couldn't ask for a better hook set than that. Yeah, the hook went through his lip, threaded through, right. and then got him. Alright, so we get a picture of this grouper oh, yeah. before he loses color. Yep. Cool. Come on, you can do this. Come on! Photo there for me. So we caught that nice big black grouper today. Very excited to be eating this tonight. Uh, we already tried the mutton snack. We felt really good. We're here in Florida. <laughs> now we're just staying in this little Airbnb. Don't have a lot of space, a lot of things. So we're just doing a very basic recipe. Butter, lemon, and some uh, garlic and herb seasoning that I found. It's, the other. it's tasting amazing so far. Really great. Grouper is my favorite saltwater fish to eat. So I hope you liked the video of us catching the fish. Now we're eating the fish. Enjoy.